Hi guys, I'm Miss Emma Walsh. Welcome back to episode three of Road to Race with Minnie. I am here at Brands Hatch and it is race weekend. I am nervous, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the bravest thing I've ever done in my life, um, but I'm absolutely loving it. It is Sunday today, so we've already had testing, race one and quali, which was yesterday. So I'm just gonna talk you through what happened on the weekend. Test day was Friday, we had four half an hour sessions. Um, I managed to get better times each time I went out, so I felt more confident, more comfortable with the car. The weather conditions were great, it was sunny. So all was good, I was consistent, happy with that came into qualifying, um, just treated it like a test because that's made me feel more calm about what I was doing. Um, but quality was good. I managed to slide out quite a bit on Druids, but I managed to catch it. That was all the drama that happened in quality and I managed to get some really good times at the end of the session. So I placed 10th out of 19th, which I was quite happy with, kind of mid-pack, and I didn't want to be at the front going into <laughs> Paddock Hill Bend. So that was good. Uh, came the race, I was very nervous. I think it was just an experience thing, not knowing where to go, what to do if this happens. I was worried about a lot of things and every single thing of those things came true in that race. It was um, a bit of carnage and um, yeah, we started the race, somebody went off and uh, there was a red flag. I managed to spin out on Graham Hill Bend, there was oil all over the track. So we stopped the race, started again, I messed up the start, that was embarrassing. Uh, but I managed to finish 10th in the end, which is what I wanted and I brought the car back safe for today. So I am very happy with that performance and uh, hopefully today the rain will hold out for the first race, uh, but I'm looking forward to getting back in the car. So just before we go, I'm just checking up on my car. It's looking beautiful and I wanted to introduce you to the guys who have literally looked after me all weekend and looked after my car and made sure that I'm safe and happy. This is Rob, this is Andy. Thank you guys so much for looking after me. Right. He literally just straps me in, makes sure that I'm okay, not freaking out. These guys are great, thank you so much. Okay, so it is just before race two and I am freaking out. So I thought I'd come and have a chat to Josh. Josh, you're right there. No. You're really tall. I need to I'm be on a tire or something to be your height. <laughs> Um, Josh does all the data for me and for all the guys um, that are driving and I always uh, like to talk to Josh to calm me down a bit. What can I do in the second race that will help me uh, be better and just relax? Yeah, absolutely, so um, what was really, really great about the whole weekend and uh, about your testing is you've been really good with your race pace um, and you've been really good with your confidence and your lines and everything else. What we want to do is just keep that consistent. Um, what we've done in the first race is we had a little bit of nerves going on and everything slowed down a bit. So what we want to do is just keep your confidence up, um, keep your speed going and just get involved. That's the main thing. Um, of course, have some fun. Yeah. That's, that's kind of the, the, the priority. Um, otherwise, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll okay. smash it. It kind of takes me a while to warm up, doesn't it? I'm a bit like, oh, what am I doing? And Absolutely. then I get into it and I always get my better times later on. You do, again, it's a confidence thing. It's, yeah. The time in the car is key. Um, you know, you've got so much going on there. You've got other people, you've got pro class, you've got the amateur class. You're in the middle of the pro class, so you've done really, really well from the off. Um, uh, yesterday we had a kind of little bit of a, an incident where we came back a little bit, never mind. Um, but either way, you still did really well. You brought okay. the car home, um, you got some good uh, experience from it. It's been awesome. Okay, all right. Thank you. I'm absolutely terrified about this. Emma, best luck. Oh, guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm really nervous, and we're heading out now. Uh, so yeah, let's go. I have never, ever, 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 ever raced in the rain. I feel sick. Something doesn't feel right with my brakes. If I'm honest. Well, I messed up the start. <laughs> no idea where I was going. I'm just a little bit uncertain how to uh, play this at the moment. Way! Whoa, there is something wrong with my I knew there was something wrong with my brakes. It's just started to rain halfway through the session. We got some really difficult um, conditions out there. Emma's unfortunately had a bit of a slide in turn one. It's meant she's ended up in the gravel and had to be towed out. Um, 
because she had to get towed, unfortunately, it means she can't rejoin the race. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate, but you know, the conditions are really tough, and she, you know, she's done really well with it so far. So. So that is me out of race two. I'm very disappointed. Um, I think I locked up. I don't know, the ABS kind of kicked in. Uh, it was a little bit scary because I was going into Paddock Hill Bend. So my I just went straight into the gravel. I've managed to miss the wall though. So car is good. They're just getting uh, the gravel out of the car now. Um, the weather conditions were tricky. It was dry and then it started drizzling. So it was a last minute tire change at the end. They put wets on the back. I had the front was stick. Obviously, I'm not used to driving in any of these conditions at all, so I've been testing and dry. So it was a bit of a different setup. It was a little bit slidey, but I was feeling it. But yeah, the brakes were just kind of shuddering and kicking back at me. So I felt uncomfortable, but went into the gravel. Car's okay, I'm okay. Unfortunately, that's me for race two. But there's still another race. It is heavily raining now, so we're going to go all wet tires, and hopefully, I should be fine with that. Jordan, welcome back to my channel <laughs> oh it's race three for me today um and it's raining on and off but quite heavily as well so the track's damp right yeah very well. help i mean are uh, you the best person to ask yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. We? we just we just had our race in the wet okay. so yeah it was a good race for me we went to start at the back of the grid we come back through to fourth and got fastest lap so yeah it's it's a different animal this track in the wet it's it's high commitment in the dry, and then especially in these conditions you've got at the minute, it's in a horrible stage where you're not currently raining, so the tracks will be very shiny, very very slippery, so yeah. you've really, really got to have faith in the car. You've got to sort of, I know. It's, it's just in your head though, right? Because yeah. I had a bit of a nightmare in, in race two on paddock, yeah. and now my mind is just like shut off on that corner. Uh, you've, re you've really got to block it off. Everyone that spins in a race car, everyone crashes, everyone, everyone makes mistakes, so yeah. The quicker you can get it out of your mind and forget about it and just block it out and go back to how you were doing it before that incident, you'll, you'll be good. But yeah, it's this animal, this track is is really, really scary in the wet. There's not much. You oh, can, thanks, George. Heads up. Just, I just came to you for advice yeah. and help to make me feel better. Uh, um, okay, I yeah. just yeah, I feel like I built up a lot of confidence in the dry now, and now I'm starting back from the beginning and working back up again. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even necessarily look at it like that. Obviously. You haven't had a, long, a lot of time in the car, you're, you're very new to it and obviously you've never been in the wet. So all you've got to do is you've really got to carry the confidence you had in the dry into the wet. The more, the more you let it affect you and the more you think about it, the more you sort of you put yourself under pressure and, and you don't drive as well as you do. The way, the way I've always dealt with the wet is everyone's in the same boat. Do you know what I mean? Some, everyone's got the same car, especially in the one make series. Everyone's in the same conditions. Everyone's, you've just got to drive it. Do you know what I mean? You, you can't change it, unfortunately. It's out of your control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can change the car and you can put us in I'm a girl, circle. though. We're really, like, sensible, you know? Boys are just like, gotta change right, that. no worries, yeah. yeah. got to go out there and just, okay. yeah, drive. I think things. I might just treat this as, like, a, a rain, a wet session for me and yeah. just get used to the car. And yeah. Take, 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 take the few opening laps, uh, especially the green flag lap. Yeah. And once you've got to warm the tyres up, try carrying a bit of speed in some of the places. Just to check. Yeah, yeah, feel okay. what the car's like. And like I said, it's all about, for you, because you're very new to it, You've got to feel what happens when it goes sideways, because it goes. Oh, I, I did. Yeah, but it's yeah, even faster in the Okay, wet. great. So you can't wait you, for that. Your hands have got to be even quicker. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, okay. it's, it's hard work. But you, you'll be good. Okay. Sure. Thanks, George. Okay, it is about 30 minutes before race three. As you can see, the conditions are pretty horrendous. It is chucking it down with rain, so the course is really, really wet. Uh, they put all wet tires on the car. Uh, we've done a bit of a brake test uh, just to get the feel of how the ABS is kicking in. I think it was just the ABS was just shuddering back at me, uh, but that is not a nice feeling going into paddock at that speed and your brakes are not um, working very well. So that was quite scary, but I just need to forget that now clear my mind, uh, get back on track and not let that hold me back. Maybe take the first three laps to get used to the car in the wet and then um, see how we go. Okay guys, we're just about to go out for race three. I am very nervous. I almost feel like I've started at square one again, just with the pace and the wheels and the rain and everything, but I'm gonna give it my best go and I'm just gonna try and stay out of trouble. I feel very nervous as one would going out onto a extremely wet race course for the first time. Oh, the spray. Ah. Oh, this is just not fun. I don't like this in the rain. Nowhere near as good as I was. Well caught, well caught. Ah, oh, terrifying. 
that's embarrassing. A 16 year old girl has just overtaken me. Ah, oh, dear. That is it. Oh my God, I'm actually relieved. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, that's my first time racing in the rain. Well guys, I am just glad that I got through that. I'm not gonna lie, that felt completely foreign to me. Um, not used to driving in the wet. Your brain wants to tell you no. And all the stuff that I've been taught and experienced and everything going on over the last few days and weeks in the dry. This was just a bit of a, um, a mind swear word that I can't use right now. <laughs> but yeah. Well, I'm back in one piece, the car's back, and that's all that matters. Oh my god, that was horrible. Oh, absolutely awful. Honestly, I just felt like I'd started racing today. Like, I just got in the car today, it was, everything was different. Everything I've been taught was not the same thing. I had a very scary moment coming down Paddock Hill sideways, and I just had Paul's head in my, voice in my head saying, steer keep your foot flat and then straighten up on the on the crest but my goodness i got lapped a few times but i'm just glad i bought the car back and i'm okay and yeah that was just a bit of a learning experience for me a bit frustrating because i was hoping to race today and see what i could do but um cars are right and yeah all good well guys as you can see the weather is horrendous it is raining really hard it's really windy so not the most ideal conditions that i would have liked to have gone out in today after learning and testing in the dry i felt like maybe i could get in the mix today but it wasn't my day for that however i have learned a hell of a lot i've had everything thrown at me this weekend every condition i was worried about has been thrown at me so I'm really, really, really going to walk away from this um, and just take what I've learned from each day and each race. It's been literally the most amazing thing and also the most terrifying thing I've ever done. But I have loved every minute of it. This team, Accelerate, Justina, Anthony, the guys at Mini, I can't thank enough. They've looked after me so well. Um, they mainly just say to me, you'll be fine and then send me out. But no, they've looked after me really well and um, I can't be more grateful for this opportunity. I've learned a lot from this experience and hopefully I will be getting into the JCWs or if not then I've used this as a good learning experience um, for a bit of racing for me. It was a dream come true. I hope you guys have enjoyed this journey with me. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and I'll see you guys all really really soon. Bye.